What up, YouTubers? So, I'm going to let y'all know my take on this, Tommy uh, Sotomayor and uh, Tyreek Nasheed. Um, I just got into both of these dudes just months ago. Um, so, I don't know the whole story. But I tell you that little incident that happened when uh, Tommy was at Vlad TV and Tyreek Nasheed busted through the door when he actually busted through the door he just kind of walked in like he was set up and shit I mean Vlad is big you know uh, white Jewish company or whatever you know DJ Vlad you know the whole whole nine but how I look at this man I listen to other people talk about it and all that but how I look at this whole situation is that those two guys man they you guys gotta understand they some businessmen um they were actually, to me, they were acquaintances. Like, did some stuff at the Struggle Mansion or whatever you want to call it. They sat at tables. They done had, like, several interviews. Unless all of this was just all set up or whatever. Um, recordings and stuff. But they done had mutual conversations and stuff, you know. And, uh, Tommy's basically, you know, the bitch bashing, you know. Uh, and uh, pro-black Nasheed is doing his thing so they just keep to those you know main points of what they do so my point to all this is man my view of it is is like did you see that shit like that shit was comical I got three things three things the main one was it set up by both of them they businessmen you guys remember that they businessmen and it was just crazy that this guy could just walk in this place with no security uh, checking both of them you know for guns or anything uh, I heard Tommy say that he couldn't have his gun in there because he don't have his license there in, um, in that state or what have you and then they said in the video that uh, Tyreek Nasheed Looked like he had something in his pocket. If it was true, Nasheed, that was corny. I just got to say, that was corny, man. That was really corny. You not, that wasn't thug, bro. And you look like you can go. So, I, I, and you came with a camera in your hand, so you really wasn't trying to go. Um, one video you said you heard that he was in town. How'd you hear about it? somebody informed you about it and you say Tommy mentioned it online or what have you but if so what what whatever you showed up to this spot um free entry go up in it and if you look around the scene you see white boys just chilling uh cameraman still rolling it's <laughs> It's, it's like it's a fake scene, son. That's what it looked like to me. It was a fake scene. Nobody's trying to break him up. Nobody's saying, hey, man, I'm do he's doing this. Come on, man, don't do that. Don't do that. Nobody's doing that. Nobody's breaking him up. No, Nobody at this big Vlad station is breaking him up. I can't hate on y'all because y'all are making money. And you guys got to think, like, these two dudes, man, they're they, they, they getting paid from us and they get paid not from us but you know the views and they get paid like this and it's almost like what y'all running out of views or uh, uh Tyreek needed some help to get some more views or uh, you know Tommy needed some more help to get some views or uh, to make more money I can't get mad at you it's like uh like a pro boxing fight what do they do you know Sugar Ray Leonard and Spinks and you got you know Tyson and you know what I'm saying they everybody's want to talk a whole bunch of smack against each other and that's what these two cats been doing you got a pro black dude and a dude that talks about black you know uh single moms and all this shit you know whatever um I'm a solo nation nigga man I I I, I like Tommy shit I like Nashi shit but Nashi's a he's a pimp he's just a pimp man I think he's a ladies man man that's that's it I think he's in it for the ladies and the money there's nothing wrong with it. Um, and he's a smart brother. Both of them are very smart brothers, man. I learned a lot from both of them. But I like, I'm a, I'm a Soto, Soto Nation nigga, so you can call me a coon or whatever. But 
his views are real. Tommy's views is real and his shit's a facts and his just his opinion. Um and they say it all day. If you don't like Tommy, don't watch him. You know what I'm saying? It's just like turning on the porno station and seeing two faggots fuck and you're like, oh shit, and but you keep on watching the shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if you don't like the nigga, stop watching him. And now she, you know, he's a very smart brother and um if you don't like Tommy for real, for real, I mean, stop watching them, stop making. But they're going to keep going back and forth because that's how they get more views. You know, they talk about what they, you know, main issues about or what their station is built on. And then, you know, they throw in a little bit of dirt. And it's good to have um, controversy once in a while. But bottom line, you guys got to look at the whole situation. I don't think these brothers was, uh, was going to fight from the gate. I didn't think nothing was going to pop off from the gate. When I seen the video, I said, oh, that's some bullshit. He comes in with a camera, sticks out his jaw a couple times. He didn't punk nobody. Nobody was punked. They just looked, both of them, y'all, just looked like, you know, very immature for the white audience. <laughs> it's like, look at these black guys, man. One's pro-black and one's just always talking about his own people. And, you know, and, and they just watching this shit, like, look at these ignorant and calling each other niggas and all of this stuff, um, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, um, it's just, it's sad, it's sad that it has to come down to this to either get more views, you got Vlad into it, everybody's scheming to get more views, you got all these fake ass videos out here to get more views and, people making money though I can't fake I wear fake jewelry sometimes you know say it's your little bling bling you know you gotta fake it till you make it so everybody got a little fake in them so that shit was fake as shit these brothers wasn't gonna fight yeah they should have just hugged and shit and they probably would have got more views on that motherfuckers really would have been mad cause oh they both bitches they both bitches these niggas hug you know, this, that's eventually what's going to happen. It's either that or somebody's going to take it very serious. It's not going to be either one of those dudes. And if it is, they're going to have somebody else to do the work. Because um, they're smart brothers. So they're going to have somebody else to do the dirty work. And bottom line, even if they don't set out the, uh, the signal to make a hit or what have you on each other. Somebody's going to do it because they're such fans of these dudes and they don't realize the power of their voice. And what's going to happen, one of these dudes is going to be like, yo, I'm a big-ass fan of Tyreek. And somebody's going to kill Tommy or somebody's going to kill Tyreek. And they both going to say, I didn't want that brother dead. I didn't want that brother dead, man. And the truth will come out later. Probably not now. Probably 10 years from now. Like, yeah, we planned it. Everything was cool. You know, we were just, you know, making more controversy. It was more entertainment for, for the viewers. More stuff to talk about. But that's my view on it. I don't want to even get into the part of uh, Tommy should have did this, Tommy should have did that, if it was real or not, because I don't even want to see that. I don't want to see them brothers fight. That, that would really make me stop watching both of them dudes, man. If that shit was to go down, I mean, if one was at fault, meaning that one was the starter, the really beefer, if Tyreek was really the beefer and really started that shit, man, I wouldn't even, I would talk bad about this brother, like, constantly, you know what I'm saying? Or I wouldn't, I would just take him out of my mind, most likely, because I'm trying to stay on the positive, you know? But it has been a terrible thing if these brothers was to even rumble, or it had been funny <laughs> if nobody got hurt, but nobody got punked in this video. They could say whatever they wanted. Oh, he didn't look. It looked like he had a tear in his eye. Um, I don't give a fuck. If that shit was turned around, it will be the same damn way. Nobody knows who's on the other side of the door um, when you approach like that. You don't know what this guy's carrying. Uh, I think if Tommy did have a gun, he probably would have pulled it out. You know, he. I think he would have. I think he would have pulled it out and probably got nervous and shot if it wasn't a fake, fake deal. You know what I'm saying? But... Me, personally, <laughs> I hate to blow y'all cover. Somewhere down the line, man, I really think Vlad, the cameraman, and whoever else was in that room knew what the fuck is going on. And Tommy being so 
smart. I know Tommy probably was like, I'm going to L.A., all right? Um, so Tyreek probably reached out somehow and say, hey, man, let Tommy know, man. I'm going to come through there and make a scene, man. And Tommy probably was like, hey, as long as I can get this video done, that's cool. If nobody's going to get hurt, I'm not going to bring my gun in the studio. Then it's all good. We just go down like that. We don't want to sit here and plan it because it's going to look very, very suspicious. People are already going to probably think it's suspicious. I don't want to make it look like it's planned out. So, y'all, when you come in here, you better come right. I'm going to talk what's on my mind and you talk what's on your mind. Make it look as real as possible. God, dog. I got him saying all that. And so, Tom, once Nari got that, he made that U-turn. Like he said he did in one video, I made a U-turn when I heard he was there. And I said, you know, some other goons was going to come out with me. But I said, no, I'm going to go by myself. But I just... Happen to have this award with me at all times in my vehicle, just in case I bump into Tommy. So do my yard. Yeah, so you're gonna give him a coon. I mean, if you was serious mad, man, I would have came in there throwing a coon. Take your motherfucking award, nigga. You coon ass nigga. Crispy ass nigga. I would have came in there, hit him with it, threw it at him, and see, you know, he would have blocked it with his shield. He, he got that motherfucking weight joint, he would have blocked it with the shield, and then y'all would have been in there tussling around and shit, you know. But that shit was that shit was funny though. That shit, I'm just watching. I'm like, look at these months. Then they getting on Tyree's draws on backwards. Somebody, sometimes you wear your draws backwards. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, get the you know. I hope it wasn't no boxes because the hole would have been in the back. That's easy access. Anyway, I ain't going. I ain't gonna go there, man. I'm just saying that was some punk shit. If it was real, not Tyree, that was some punk shit, man. When you going somewhere, man, go go with your fist. If you're going to go in there with the camera, because you know you're the cameraman, and you went by yourself, so you needed somebody to hold the camera, leave your right hand out, extend it, boom, hit the nigga in the chest. Uh, uh, that's what a thug shit would have did. That's what real niggas would have did. You know, went up in there and hit this motherfucker, blah, boom, boom, boom. I'm not promoting violence because that shouldn't have never went down point blank. And that's why I think it's, you know, been fibble fabble with. Because... You never went in, went in there to uh, really to go in there to beef like that. You just went in there to yep, yep, yap, get some more views, get the footage, and bounce the fuck out. Hoping that Tommy really didn't come off. You know what I'm saying? Because if he would have came off, then it would have been an ugly situation. And that's why I said everything looked like it was just so fake. <laughs> Look at the dudes, man. They just chilling on the couch like... The other cameraman's on his knee like, here he comes, here he comes. It's about to happen right now. All right, A action, let's get it. And that's what they did. That's how I feel like they did. But I'm going to still watch y'all, man, because it's entertaining, man. Y'all get my day going, man. My eight hours be gone through the day, man. And that's why I ain't making no money, because I'm busy watching y'all motherfuckers acting the ass. But yeah, this is Flyberg, man. I don't got no subscribers or none of that shit. So if y'all like what I'm saying, if y'all view what I view, uh, leave a comment, subscribe to my station. Shit, make me big. Make me some money. I will show you entertainment. God darn it. Can't say God dog because they're in there say I'm trying to bite off a tummy somebody. Boy, yo, y'all. <laughs> All right, but that's my piece to it, man. Um, yo, Tommy. Hey, Tyreek. Keep up the motherfucking good work. And don't hurt nobody and don't have somebody out there hurting somebody else. Don't have these trolls fucking around and fuck one of y'all up, man. Because I would be upset, man, to hear about any of y'all getting fucked up. Because the other man will get blamed for it even if he had nothing to do with it. So y'all got to be careful. Alright? And I'm going to go watch your movie. Alright, Nashi? I'm going to go watch your movie. And Tommy, I watch you every day, son. And I'm going to keep watching you because you tell the motherfucking truth. If it doesn't apply to you, you wouldn't get mad, bitches. You wouldn't get mad. Y'all motherfuckers need to stop doing what you're doing. Stop doing what you're doing. That's all he's trying to, that's all he's trying to do. You got to understand when you get mad at somebody or your son or something, you always trying to let them know what you did as a kid that was stupid. And you would make yourself look like an ass and you would get on them, embarrass them because why? You want them to stop. And that's what he's doing. He's doing that to the black nation. He's doing that to these black women because most of these black women are by themselves. And it's hard raising 
a, a, a hard-headed ass son and it's hard because your heart's involved and you're very emotional because the father left and you see that in the side that daughter or that son and then they turn out to be you know uh, a fucked up individual um, but anyway y'all know what y'all need to do um, watch Tommy watch uh, Tyreek you know to educate yourselves and that's pretty much it there's a lot of other brothers out there y'all can listen and learn but apply that shit and, and, and make an avenue for you guys to get the fuck out and, and do what you gotta do don't spend too much time watching these YouTube videos man take it utilize it and make something happen that's what I'm starting to do and that's what I'm starting to learn so I thank y'all two brothers man for keeping me entertained um Stop all that fake shit, man. You had my heart pumping, man. Because I was like, man, don't do nothing. Don't do nothing, Tommy. Don't do nothing, Tommy. Please don't do nothing, Tommy. Because I didn't want nothing to happen to neither one of y'all brothers, man. I like y'all. Keep it up. Flyberg, man. Signing out. Peace. Subscribe, motherfuckers. Leave some comments. Motherfuckers never leave no goddamn comments on my shit. Peace.